Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to, well, I'm going to show you how I edit my videos and how I also make thumbnails. So this process is not hard at all. Like I am no expert in Lightroom or the other one that I use, Canva. I'm not an expert, but I'm gotten used to the app and I thought I'd show you guys how I do it. So one thing though is you, you are going to have to pay for Lightroom if you're going to do that. But I know there's a bunch of other apps and well, there's a bunch of other apps that you can use as well. Like there's also PixArt that's actually pretty good and I use it as well that you can use as well to make photos and design your photos however you want. But I use Lightroom because I just wanted to familiar familiarize myself with Adobe and yeah, that's about it. So let's get right into it, shall we? So the first thing that I do is, well, I use that app first, right? And I'm gonna choose random photos from here. So I think the first photo is of me drinking a cup of tea. There it is. And I mostly measure, do the exposure first. I raise the exposure because my lighting is never really that great. Then I go to contrast and I like it because it makes my hair darker and all that fun stuff. And you can't mess with the shadows and the highlights and all that, but I really don't. Then I go to the color, which is I lower the temperature of the photo. Sometimes I mess with the blue color, purple color, because I love it. And I raise the vibrance and saturation because somehow it usually washes me out. So I raise those two things. And you can mess with the whites and the blacks and all that. I don't normally do this, but in this photo I did a little bit of it just for fun. And yeah, there's a bunch of other things you could do with the photo. I don't normally mess with those yet. I will get better eventually, but not... I'm like learning, slowly learning. And then you could just download the photo onto your phone or onto your laptop wherever you're using it. I have found that it is easier on my phone, my laptop. Well, it's easier to post it when it's on my phone. That's why I edit it on my phone. Like this picture of the Book of Aragon. Um, well, I'll tell you a little bit more. But uh, I, I cropped it and then I pretty much did the same process. Raise the contrast, um, lower the highlights if I have to, and different stuff like that. I love the blue in all of this because that is my color. That is pretty much my whole like the color of my brand is that blue right so I mess with that one as little amount as I can but I chose specifically how much I want it to be and then you can just export it download it onto your phone and post it at your need right and it's pretty simple really so now we're gonna put this into a thumbnail I'm gonna use these two photos for this video we'll see if I actually use this thumbnail I'm not sure you'll, you'll know already so I use the app called Canva. I have it on my phone and on my laptop as well. <clears throat> they let you do a bunch of stuff on there. You could do Instagram posts, Instagram stories, YouTube thumbnails, everything. So, and they give, whenever you click on one, they give you a bunch of templates to use, which is amazing. You don't, oh, I love it. So I've been using one that, using one that usually has like a strip on it and it doesn't really matter which one. I usually end up changing it a decent amount so you choose your photo you edit how you want things to look I I love Canva because it is it's easy to move things around on my phone it's not that easy because it's simpler on your laptop and usually they connect but sometimes my my laptop well the app and the thing don't usually connect on mine so you don't have the same stuff but um, I do still love using the app. That's probably where I make the thumbnails the most. Whenever I need to upload something on my laptop, I use um, camera on my laptop. Anyway, my point is, so <laughs> I'm watching the video right now, the one you're watching here, and I mess up a lot. But I just kind of go with whatever I think looks okay or decent or great. Yeah, great. But I usually my main colors are always like blue black and white so I try to mix those in and there's one specific color that sometimes I use when it's about especially when it's around them about the story 
when I'm editing for that for that there's a specific color that I use it it's a teal color and you have to find that hex color number if you know what hex numbers are they're for colors so you know which color to use and I usually mess with those but with thumbnails I try to make things bright and bigger so you could see them and usually the thumbnails that have my face on it use I get more clicks out of them I think that's just because it's a little more personal so I always try to have a photo of me on it sometimes I don't because I don't like any photos that I take that day but I usually get over it it's a small thing I get over it but I usually do black and white because if you notice I have the black background with the white um, font on front of it those are usually very seen decent amount I want to eventually pay for this app so I could get a bunch more stuff and I especially love that this has illustrations on it so you could get like little photos of random little things like also like the photo one that I put in this one and I'm able to put another photo in that and the camera that I use I think it's really cute I eventually want to pay because then you get to use all of them all of the illustrations all of the templates and stuff like that all of the fonts you know how many fonts I want to use but I can't because I'm not paying for it yeah eventually I will but I'm just saying I yeah I need to buy it but yeah and then there's your thumbnail then you could download it right away off there and it is very very simple and easy when I first started making YouTube videos I was like how do you even make a thumbnail I had no idea and I like googled no I didn't google on YouTube I searched a bunch of things for how to make a thumbnail and Canva kept popping up and that is the one I use now it takes forever to download and sometimes it's slow on my phone that's why I like with um, the verses I do every day on Instagram I use Pixar instead of Canva because Pixar is a lot faster than the Canva app because I don't know if it's because it's so big or my internet just kind of sucks sometimes but the Pixar app is usually easier for things that you want to do really quick but I normally want to make my thumbnails a bit simpler and better so I do that and it does Instagram posts and I do those on Canva as well I don't use Pixar for that I use Pixar for stories not for app not for posts and yeah you can see all my thumbnails there and a bunch of other things that I've all my posts there too so I love Canva and I love Lightroom they're pretty great and those are the two that I highly recommend also like for editing videos I do um, Adobe Premiere no it's not called Premiere Pro yes it is yes it is Premiere Pro that's what I use and it's not simple to use I would not say it is it's not user friendly but it is really high quality and you need a really good laptop you need a really good laptop to use it because it takes so much CPU sometimes when I'm editing it just slows down but I think I need a better laptop for that but besides that I love Adobe I will always recommend Adobe even though there's some slight some things that suck but whatever so that is how I edit my photos and my thumbnails if you were ever curious of how I did that that is how now you know and let me know if you use these two apps if you like them if you don't like them I I think they're pretty good I, I use them obviously I think they're pretty good I probably won't ever switch the only thing is probably I'll just upgrade on these ones all the time but yeah so thank you so much for watching please like this video subscribe hit that notification bell down below for more videos of how I do things and my crazy weird life it's not even that crazy but it's still fun so <laughs> thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next video bye guys <laughs>